up guys it's Shauna aka Mrs. Wealthy Wallet finally getting around to doing my June plan with me um you all know my bills so I am sorting through my stuff right now I have my planning with K stickers that I've already started using that's what this beautiful sticker is right here it's one of her uh, watercolors with one of the succulents this is the succulent design that has monthly trackers habit trackers so on and so forth so oops of course I use a little bit too much force. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this budget sticker here because that is literally what this is all about. It's basically my budget. You all know I keep the list of bills on a bill pay checklist. So I'm gonna look at this and see if there's any other days other than the first, of course. Well, no, I had something to do on the first. And the, boom, 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 boom. Well, I don't have anything to do on the third. Okay, so anytime in here. So I'm looking to see where I can put my stickers in, y'all. Because I love these stickers. And I haven't been using them, so I actually want to be able to use them. So just looking for places that I can actually stick them. And that they'll be fine, so... Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tell you what life has been like while I place these stickers. Um... It has been really crappy, y'all. I'm not even going to lie about it. It completely has sucked. Right now, I have taken the Volvo in for its service. And I basically had an oil change and a, a alignment. Can you believe that Volvo could not get the oil change correct? That is ridiculous. I have my two of the same budget planners from Create 365 that I'm going to be using. But yeah, I had to take the car back three times just to do an oil change. That is ridiculous. The first time I took it, I went, wound up leaving and going to the grocery store only to get ready to leave the grocery store and find out that my check engine light was on which wasn't on before I got the oil change because they haven't even programmed my car since um, the last time I had an oil change to let me know when my oil change was so there was no reason for the check engine light to come on other than they messed up something that's how I knew it was a huge problem uh, I didn't put my second insurance thing on here y'all it's due on the 15th I just happen to know it is. So I literally was not happy about that. And then we took the Camry in because the Camry hasn't been locking. And we wanted to see how much it would be to get the lock fixed. And they were like $600 on my 2002 Camry. The reason why I want the lock fixed, is, of course, is because I don't want an idiot breaking into my car and thinking they can actually steal from my car because well steal my car it has a smart key to it and if you try to use anything but that smart key which I have done in the past I had a key made and we used it to crank up the car which you can crank up the car and warm it up but if you put the car in gear the car automatically shuts down and I luckily found out from the dealership that if I kept doing that the car the engine will completely kill um so if anybody tried to steal my car they basically would destroy the engine but there's nothing in my car to steal anyway because my husband drives it he doesn't keep anything of value in it so it's got the factory stuff on it it's nothing nothing people will want like seriously um so yeah that's the only kicker about my car I'm out of these graduate uh, not graduation yeah these graduation hats I'm out of those so I can't even put use those for the uh, <laughs> student loan so yeah, so on top of them telling me it's $547 for that, um, we haven't taken the car in for service in a while. So this guy decided to go ham on suggestions and basically said that we needed like the whole kit and caboodle and sent me a quote for $3,800 on the Camry. So my husband said no to everything, including the lock, and said it's time for you to look for your car. So I have to start looking for the Civic that I want, which is a 2016 Civic EX. And the reason why I want EX is one, I want that alarm system on it. Y'all know me. 
Civic is one of the number one, well not Civic, but Honda is one of the top cars stolen in the U.S. Especially if you don't have any type of uh, lock on it. A special locking mechanism or, or, or uh, alarm on it so I am very aware of that so I'm trying to be conscious of making sure that I have one with a, some type of really good security on it um but yeah that's where we are right now the Volvo needs to have the windshield fixed because when I was driving home the other day I got popped with a what do you call one of those things a rock and now I have a star crack in my windshield and one of these cars has got to make it until we're able to afford another one uh -huh. water bill on the 11th sorry guys <laughs> but yeah so it's really frustrating guys I'm not even gonna lie all this stuff that's happening is so frustrating I cannot stand it I was I wanted it to wait until we were you know we had more money in our pocket and we were ready for the car and all that stuff but it looks like it's coming faster than we were both expecting so yeah it is what it is what can you do life is throwing you lemons and you gotta throw some sugar in there and some water and hopefully have some lemonade and or a detox water if you're gonna just throw lemons <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to smile through it, y'all. It, it's really not cool. I'm really upset about it. I'm going to speed this up. Oh, guys, how would you do internet? Ooh, that's a good question. Like Hulu, of course, I would do a TV because that is TV that I'm paying for. But I don't know how I would do internet. I'm going to figure that out. Internet. There's nothing that says, hey, it's internet. Pick me. Food, gas. I don't know, it's not to be a blank one. Uh, blank one, blank one. Internet. Alright, that is due on the 9th. Comcast. Still $41.84 until further notice. Adobe is due on the 19th. $9.99. I use Adobe on and off. I always debate over whether or not I need to keep it. But due to the fact that I use it on and off, you know, I kind of hold on to it. HostGator is due on 6-7. Now that's something I really debate because Wealthy Wallet is more, to, more so a YouTube channel. I can't tell you the last time I've ever written anything for that thing. As a matter of fact, I've actually taken down the majority of the articles that were on there. So I don't know. I don't know guys. What do you think? Do you think I should use Wealthy Wallet? I don't know. Um... I think that's pretty much it. Is that pretty much it? Something for the dog. All right, doggy. Doggy. Doggy is on the 20th, so we'll put him here. So, yeah, let me get that pan going, guys, and here we go. All right, you all know that I am paying $100 to Navient while we were paying some expenses for the summer as well as paying off my iPad. On the 13th, we pay the actual payment of $324.67. You know, the house note is due here. Taxes are at least $16.13.18. That is, that was not the house note. <laughs> Guys, why y'all let me do that? Why y'all let me do that? The house note is over here. So we gotta pull, uh oh, ew, I'm doing, I'm doing the classic sticker mistake. Y'all will be okay. So we'll be all right. But um, that was, what was that? That was house note? No, not house note. That was insurance. Insurance for the car. Yeah. So we're going to tape most of that down when we put this down. And that's 5901. This is 5902. Y'all, why did I just write that like that? I don't know what I am thinking. I'm having a day. I told you all I'm having a rough time right now. <laughs> all right. Over here, we're going to go. Since I'm on this side, I'm going to tilt it a little bit. I hope you all are okay with that. I'm weird dra drawing from this angle. $54.07. Here's the house note of 16 
1308. Can I tell you all the weirdest thing about this gas bill is it actually pulls here. It doesn't actually pull on this date. I don't know why it is. I set it up for automatic uh, payment and it pulls so far in advance. It's, it's just so weird. All right. So the seventh is Navient and Hostgator. So that's 1095. Host Gator. Okay, and the ninth is Comcast. I'm sorry, my writing is a little messy today. It's just, it's not working for me. Comcast 4184. Sometimes, depending on my mood, my writing actually changes. And because I've been in a crappy mood, you're getting my crappy writing. All right, AT&T is 190. D. I'm really not doing well at this. <laughs> Water is 103.38. It's gonna be higher next go round because there are, like I said, extra people in the house. It always goes up when there's extra people. Um, Navient 324.67. We got 10.99 on Netflix. Um, let's see, $9.99 on Adobe. I'm going to adjust this because this is right under the camera, guys. This is the worst writing ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Electricity is right here. $154.31. And then what am I missing? My doggie's health thing is $35.95. That is Banfield. If you all go to Pets Mart here in the US, that's what that is. And then $100. So that's it, guys. This is my bills and stuff for the month. I have a work event coming up in which I need to buy some clothes for and have my hair straightened so i'm getting i'm having my hair straightened and then i'm going to get some clothes for that event because it's a two-day event and it's the head of my department as well as the head of uh, i think it's the head of the uh, my company coming in as well so i don't want to look crazy so my hair is natural right now in the true natural state of wild style which is what i call it but it's part curly part wavy part straight and it's going to stay that way for at least the next two weeks while i um go to the gym and start working out some because i need to lose some of this weight that i have gained back but yeah that is what's going on this week guys i hope y'all have a good one so until next time remember the best type of wallet to have is always going to be a wealthy one peace